How's it going, every Pokey buddy? On today's episode, we're opening this 1983 Weird Tops Video City. All right, we're gonna open these Video City Best Video Games. Uh, it says three rub off game cards, three stickers, and one stick of bubble gum in each wax pack. So I found this at one of my local game shops. Thought it'd be interesting to see what exactly is this, because you know I remember a lot of stuff when I was a kid, but you know I just didn't have money for all of it. So of course gum kind of stuck, but not that bad for 1983. Normally the gum really wrecks and uh, turns out pretty rough, but this actually looks okay. Mm, it is hard as a brick, and it's basically just crystallized sugar. So eat that into the pile. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. Here is what your purple border Donkey Kong Jr. picture will look like. Oh, and okay, so we punch out. Okay, so these I think are stickers. Okay, it's just some retro gaming stuff. There's an, oh, okay, so it tells us what a couple of these big pictures. I think we, we collect a couple and we can make one big picture. And then this tells us what a big picture could look like. Um, and then Zaxxon, it looks like. Looks like we kind of play the game in a scratch-off manner. How to play. Cannons are 500 points. Well, starting the spaceship probably one at a time. So oh, and so we got to get a high score. Okay, starting at space, run one dot at a time. Move across the fortress towards the robot at the top, collecting as many bonus while you avoid crashes. When six crashes are uncovered, the player is out. Interesting. Okay, and then we've got one for Donkey Kong Jr where it's a scratch off. Starting at Junior, rub off one dot at a time. Move up vines over platforms and grass to reach key, uh, key to unlock Papa. When you rub off three red snap jaws, no, oh, you're out when you rub off three red snap jaws. Player reaches Donkey Kong is freed, the game's over. Okay. Okay, so we're like playing video games on scratch off cards. Uh, let's see, it was two Zaxxons, two Zaxxons, and a Donkey Kong. So let's go ahead and open these up and see if we can get more of the bigger pictures. This is our second second pack here. Uh, this gum, this gum didn't make it as, as much, but again, this, this didn't seem to destroy the cards the way I've seen some card destruction happen. So here's Frogger in a scratch off. And then maybe we'll do a video where we actually play all these. Frogger, two Froggers, a Donkey Kong Jr. We got Turbo Really Moves. That's the large version of this, and this is a sticker of that. So that's that's what that one should look like if we get it all, all the pieces. Oh, we could send this in for seven dollars and seventy-three cents. You get six issues. It's not terrible. There's Zaxxon and Frogger. They must only had license for a couple games. That's why. Why there's only a few games we're seeing here. Back in 1983. Yeah, this gum really, you know, I've, I've seen way worse. It really moves, so there's that. Look, look, we got part of it. Oh, and then, then the turbo part again. And then two more Zaxxons. And then one turbo. So we've got a couple of these scratch off games. We've got some stickers. And I mean, it's exactly what they said. It's, it's the ratios that they set on the pack. But that is pretty interesting. The art, you know, it's 1980s arcade stuff, which is pretty cool. A uh, little fun fact about me, I used to work on arcade pinball, jukebox, and other types of amusement machines. I was a service technician. So arcade stuff kind of touches my heart a little bit. But hey, you got to believe in the art of the cards. And we'll come back. We'll do a video. Uh, we'll scratch these open. And hey, have a great day.